Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to jump in and talk about something that I have been trying to figure out for many years, but now I think I got the answer. So that is why do we unconsciously copy other style, personality, or the way they dress, the way they talk? Um, copying other style unconsciously is a coping mechanism because as children, we might have parents who prefer other children in our family, like maybe your siblings or cousins or sisters or brothers or neighbor's kid. And whenever they compliment on those children, you start to gain the idea that, well, I, I don't measure up and my parents prefer a kid like them. So I am not acceptable to my parents. So we cultivate this habit to be hypersensitive towards any traits that might be appealing to our parents. For example, some kids, they have good grades. Some kids, they are really humble and they work really hard. Or some kids who is just outgoing, very social, which happen to be something that you lack or you get criticized about. This actually creates a pattern of us forever searching for faults within ourselves. If something goes wrong, if others are unsatisfied, if they're having a bad day, it must be because something I did. You know, if I correct it, if I change, then others would like me, they would approve of me, so I could be okay. So one thing I often do for many years, unconsciously, is that whenever I'm in a crowd, my focus is always external because I was trying to pay attention to, you know, trying to observe people, how they talk to each other and what, like how they behave and how the other person reacts to them. For example, if I spot a girl who has like really beautiful skin and the other person who she's talking to has maybe feelings for her and I would assume, well, I wanted to be like her. I wanted to have better skin. And if I noticed that the guy who tends to be very talkative and very social and very confident and I learned that, well, I wanted to be like that so that I appear confident in crowds and I get everybody's attention just like he does. This tends to be something very hidden for a lot of us and we may not have noticed until somebody pointed it out or until you've noticed that, hmm, why am I becoming more and more like him or her? There was one time, there's a girl that I hang out with a lot and I really admire her, I love her style. And unconsciously, I just lean towards everything she says, her music tastes and the way she dresses, just everything. I started to become more and more like her until one point she said to me like, just don't copy me, why are you just copying my style and stuff? And she actually hates people when they do it. So, of course, our friendship just broke because I feel, I feel like there are something in both sides. But from my side, my takeaway is that because I see how popular she is and I have no sense of self and I was trying to define myself through how others view me or through how others res respond to me. And when they respond to me in a positive way, and I know, well, I, I should keep doing this because this really creates some attention. But the only upset, whenever I notice that people don't respond to me in a very positive way, when they fail to notice me, whenever they seem to have a bad mood, I always assume it's because of me, it's because something I did, or the way I talk, or the way I dress today, is causing them to react to me in a negative way. So I would do intense self-reflection and to try to find faults in myself so I can correct it. And if I correct it, then I believe people would like me just like how we cater to our parents who seem to be very judgy, seem to be very criticizing and unsatisfied with me, who seem to have those incredibly high standards that we could never match up to. Also, I see a lot of people actually post this question on Reddit and I answer to all of them and a lot of them actually resonate with this explanation. And this is also something I've learned from my therapist because whenever I talk to her about, you know, I tend to be more and more like others, then the way she talks reflects me being ungrounded on myself, on my own reality, because at that moment, I, I really didn't have a sense of self. If you're interested in learning about the psychology behind no reply anxiety, I have a video about it. I'm gonna put it up here somewhere. I'll see you next time, bye bye.